One way of increasing public awareness is through messages. And what better way to give a message than on a billboard? The team can go into, for example, Brazzaville, one of the towns, put up a billboard, go back to the sanctuary, and that billboard will continue day after day, giving out the same message. And billboards also can be taken into remote villages where other conservation organizations haven't yet reached. And in the same way, that message will be left behind for people to see. And in that way, we hope we shall be able to make a very big difference here in this country. The Congo Republic is one of the largest habitat countries for Western Lilang gorillas and chimpanzees in the world. Unfortunately, one of the biggest threats for the chimpanzees and gorillas in this country is hunting. Mainly hunting for bushmeat, but also for the live animal trade. The hunting of, of great apes in the Congo is its biggest threat. Habitat loss will become a threat in the future. It already is a threat in some areas with uh, the logging. So most of the forests in the Congo Republic is all under logging concessions and we see fast numbers of uh, timber going out every year out of uh, this country. In the past, over 26% of the chimpanzees that were confiscated came from this region. But since we have had the billboards in place, we've seen no chimpanzees being confiscated in the last five years from this area. So we believe that the billboards have played a, a dramatic uh, uh, impact, a positive impact on the um, application of the law with people being more respectful of the law and understanding the law with regards to the protected status of the great apes. Because of that, the Institute has uh, undergone a program in which to expand the billboard and the public awareness campaign to cover the whole country. In the first stages of this expansion, we will focus on those towns and regions where we know that the chimpanzees and the gorillas have come from in the past. The billboards themselves um, have a double message. So on one side, we make sure that everybody understands what the law is in this country and what is the consequences of not obeying the law and which animals are protected. On the back side of each of these billboards, we have put more of a positive message so that people feel pride about the fact that they, their country is one of the biggest countries with these species and it's a very unique species to have in their country. So we're trying to create a pride with the Congolese about having great apes in their country. Through this process of ensuring that the billboards are successful, we will conduct and have already started conducting both pre and post surveys. So our education team has already spent six months going around the country to all of these target locations and doing roadside surveys. In each area we've um, at least uh, surveyed 100 people and over the consequent months we will go back six months after a billboard has been placed 12 months two years three years up to five years we will continue to gauge both the whether how much information people are actually gaining from the billboards but also is there an attitude change and also a practice change some of the challenges that our team has faced here is the fact that the congo republic itself is a large fairly large country for africa um, the distances between towns is quite uh, phenomenal. Sometimes it's taking our teams two days of traveling by road just to get to the location where they need to put a, a billboard up. There are some people, of course, uh, some of the areas where we're going to, such as Sabeti, uh, which is just north of us. Uh, during our pre-testing uh, surveys, we discovered that 100 of the men admitted to eating chimpanzees. So we know we have a lot of work ahead of us, but we are very positive from our results so far down here in the south that we believe um, a long-term public awareness campaign can have a positive impact in reducing the illegal hunting and killing of great apes in the Congo Republic. The JGA Congo team would like to take this opportunity to, to give a big thank you to IAZA for supporting this very important project.